and uh, um, please feel free to leave a comment down in the section comment section below Ugh. friends welcome back to my channel for those of you that are new here my name is Daniel and in um, today's video is in response to this video that I will put the thumbnail somewhere up on the screen here uh, that I recently posted here on my channel and it was titled elastics 101 after I had posted that video here on my youtube channel I had gotten messages on Instagram and Twitter asking me if I would do another video um, in response to that one to show you guys how I put my elastics on. So I said, sure, why not? So if you guys find that you like today's video and or find it to be helpful, if you guys could give it a big thumbs up everywhere, thumbs up everywhere, I would greatly appreciate it and it would greatly help my channel. And if you guys are subscribed to my channel already but would like to be, please hit that red subscribe button down below. So in that video titled Elastics 101 that I was just speaking about, I had mentioned that I wear elastics that are uh, class two and they are one quarter inch. Let me see if I can get this to, whoops, see if I can get this to focus here. There's some bad lighting in here. Uh, let's see. Yes, they are one quarter inch, 6.44 millimeters, and they are in the head, uh, sorry, they are in a medium strength. And what these essentially do for me is to, cor to correct an overbite and an overjet that I have. And they are in a pattern that is pulling my upper arch back to meet with my lower arch the best that he can do. And I also have a crossbite. And I know that with some recent orthodontist appointments that I've had during those adjustments, he mentioned that um, in the near future, I would be either a going into different type of elastics or also having a different elastics pattern because again, I also have a cross bite as well. And I also have some, even when my teeth are clamped together, um, top and bottom like that, um, I have some gaps still that um, aren't closing all the way. And it's not gaps between teeth. It's just gaps where I have my teeth closed together. Uh, so anyways, that's just goes along with wearing braces and uh, the elastics are just essentially to move teeth around and shift them how the orthodontist uh, feels that is for each individual case. So um, again, I will go ahead and get into today's video and what I want to just re remind you guys again that not everyone braces, braces journey is the same. So take everything I say with a grain of salt because I am just sharing my experience with you and how I wear my elastics how I take care of my braces in all my past videos, this video, and my future videos. So um, I do hope that you guys find it to be helpful. And uh, so with that said, before I zoom in here, I did also want to say that always remember to wash your hands before putting your elastics in, wash your hands before brushing your teeth. You guys know all the things. And um, also the thing that the orthodontist had sent me home with as well as it comes to one of these little tools and I'll show you in just a moment. It also one also comes in with every bag of elastics that I get as well. Um, so, you know, you never are able to be with, you will never have to worry about being without one. And let's see if I can get this camera to focus on this. Let's see here. It is this. And what this little tool is called is an elastic pusher. And I'll show you that. Um, let's see. It has a little hook on one end that you can see here. The camera's trying to autofocus on my face. So uh, let's see here. If I can get this to work. I don't know if I will be able to or not. But uh, let's see. Anyways, I think you could tell. There is one little part on the um, elastics pusher that uh, has a hook and you can pull the elastic or there's one end on it, it's called a pusher and you can push the elastic into place. So with that being said, um, again, here's a close up of that tool 
and you can see a hook on one end and a pusher on the other. And uh, my orthodontist had given me one of these when he first put me into elastics. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then uh, with every bag of elastics that you get, there's always one of these little tools in the bag as well. So I don't know if you find that to be helpful. Everyone puts on their elastics differently in a different pattern or if you have the same pattern that I do, you may feel more comfortable with you know, using your hands versus the tool, but it's there if you need it. And let's see, I'll but go ahead and zoom in here and see if I can't show you guys. See, so if I can show you guys, I'm all tongue tied today and I feel like I can't hardly even speak correctly, but you know what, you just do what you can and get your videos recorded as you can. So we'll go ahead and zoom in here and Let's see if I can get up close here. I got a different light here by my camera and it's kind of a illuminating like a yellowish like green so I need to fix that. So let's see if this will okay, move out of the way. Let's see. Um, there we go. All right. Anyways, fixing the lighting situation. And I'll go ahead and zoom in here. Okay, so. Okay, so up close and personal. Hopefully it'll focus a little bit better here. Okay, it is. So, um, as you'll see, I have a, <clears throat> excuse me, pink power chain on the top. And then I have ligature ties on the bottom. And I recently have got a collar of ligature ties. As you can see, they are known as Icy Pearl Teal. I've had this collar before. It's just been a while. And again, a power chain on the top. And then the gaps that I was speaking about earlier, I'll go ahead and show you those. Um, again, it's when my teeth are shut like this. And then I have gaps where my teeth are not coming together correctly and that's to be expected with braces as your teeth get adjusted. So here you can see where there's gaps and my teeth are closed completely um, that I can make them be, uh, but there's gaps are still there and I'm on the same side as well, or excuse me, on the opposite side as well. right there so um, anyways I'll go ahead and show you how I put my elastics on sorry that the there we go the uh, focus is not wanting to stay in every time I move out of uh, screen here so well hopefully it'll stay um, and then I attached them this the elastics the same on both sides they attach to a molar that's on the bottom arch and they come up to my canines that are on the upper arch. So I'll go ahead and show you now. Down here. And then they hook to a canine up on the top and it's the same on the other side. There we go. Okay, so. Um, I hope that you guys find out, found that video to be helpful. And if you have any questions, you're uh, more than welcome to send me. See, I can't even talk today. You're more than welcome to, to continue to send me DMs on Instagram and Twitter. I know that there are some <clears throat> viewers and subscribers of mine that don't always comment on my videos. But I do get a lot of messages on those two other social media platforms. And that's perfectly fine. Um, I know that sometimes it's just easy to, easier to carry on a conversation there versus uh, in a comment section of a video. So anyways, um, 
if you guys have any questions or if you are wearing elastics um, how long have you been in braces what type of elastics are you wearing what kind of pattern do you have your elastics in and again i don't know what my future holds for my braces journey as far as elastics like i mentioned earlier the orthodontist did mention that i will have either a different type of elastic or definitely a different another elastic pattern so um you know because i do have other issues besides the overbite and the overjet that he does eventually want to address so i hope that you guys found this video to be helpful and or liked it and please give it a big thumbs up um, i would greatly appreciate it and it would greatly help my channel and uh, um please feel free to leave a comment down in the section comment section below Ugh. and anyways i'll have a link to the um elastics 101 um video that I have recently uploaded here on my YouTube channel and I hope that if you guys are laughing that you're laughing with me and not at me I'm doing my best uh, but anyways I definitely want to keep these braces videos rolling because I know that um, I um, enjoyed them before I got braces put on and I know that there are a lot of people that appreciate these videos so um, I hope you guys have a great day or a great night whatever it may be for you thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video thanks again bye